Well, hello, and welcome to this session. One of the questions I'm asked the most on my training courses is what's the difference between a strategic and an operational risk? And it's a really good question, and it's one that isn't well defined. And I see in boards and, and in, other, in other larger organisations, in their strategic risk register, they've actually got a lot of risks in there that are truly operational. So before we answer that question, let's look at what the responsibilities are. So the board or the senior executive, they're there to drive the strategic direction of the organisation. They pass on or they delegate the management of the day-to-day -day operations of that organisation to the CEO and to the management staff. As part of that, they are also managing the risks to the day-to-day -day operations of that organisation. It's not the board's responsibility to manage those risks. It's the board's responsibility to get assurance from the CEO and from management that those, board, those particular risks are being managed effectively. So this is how I define strategic versus operational risk. A strategic risk, to me, is something external to the organisation that, if it occurs, forces a change to the strategic direction of the organisation. So there's a couple of important things there. First and foremost, it's external to the organisation. So things around WHS and fraud and all those things don't get a Guernsey there. It's all external. And it forces a change to strategic direction. Now, what we look at there are things around legislation and regulation. We look at things like the competitive environment. We look at things like, you know, severe weather events potentially or, or locations. So essentially what we're aiming at here is looking at those events or those particular risk areas that would force us to change our strategic direction. Now, an operational risk, on the other hand, is an event that's internal or external to the organisation that will actually impact on your ability to achieve the current strategy that you've got. Because if you look at the definition of risk, and we, I've talked in, before about what I think of the this, um, defini definition of risk, but the effect of uncertainty on objectives, well, of course, objectives are the, are the lower levels in terms of the building blocks for achievement of your strategy. So if, a chance, if there's a risk or an event that has an impact on your objectives, then by definition, it's going to have an impact on the achievement of your strategy. So in summary, we look at two types of, or, or two very different types of risk. The strategic risk, something that emerges from the external environment that's going to have an impact on you that would force a change to your strategic direction, whereas your operational risk is something internal or external that would impact on your ability to achieve the current strategy. So they are very, very different. Have a look at the strategic risk registers you've got and ask yourself the question, is this external or is it, is it operational or is it purely strategic? And I think you'll find, as I have, that so many of the risks that I see in strategic um, risk registers are actually operational risks. Let's get our boards, let's get our senior executives focusing on those things that truly could change the strategic direction of the organisation. So that's all I've got for this session. And as always, let's be careful out there.